In this video, I'm going to give you the cheat code to painting bright white armor really easily and really effectively. And I'm going to use this Primaris Biologus Apothecary from the Leviathan box set and part of my brand new Silver Templars Force to show you how. Let's get painting. The first thing I've done is unsurprisingly sprayed the model with white scar paint. Now, I have sprayed it blue first and then sprayed white scar all over it. But what this does do is give me a little bit of shadow in the recesses. I've also made sure not to glue this together because that's going to be so much easier to paint, but I can take the arms, head and backpack off. All right, let's get to the secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is Payne's Grey Oil Paint. Now, I'm using this from Windsor & Newton. You can use whatever Payne's Grey Oil Paint you can get your hands on, but make sure you buy a good quality one so that the pigment doesn't separate when you thin it down into a wash. So I'm adding some odorless white spirit to this. I'm just going to mix it up really nicely so it's nice and thin. Now this will flow into the recesses really nicely. So I'm going to do this step with the apothecary fully assembled. I'm just going to tap my brush along those lines and let this run into all the nooks and crannies and crevices. This is so easy, it's so fast. And then once you've done that, you can clean your brush off, dip it in some white spirit, take the majority of it off, and then you can just paint over those areas where it's perhaps spilled or gone over bits you don't want it to. And that's the cheat code to really fast white armor. Now, please watch the rest of the video <laughs> so that I get some decent moving figures, but uh, actually that's how easy it is. It really is. Now, I'll show you how to do edge highlighting later. I'll walk you through painting the rest of it. So uh, let's get cracking on that and you don't go anywhere at all. We'll start to block in all the colors and I'm going to do all of the silver metallics first. And the color I need of that is dark aluminium from Vallejo Metal Color. You can use whatever dark metal color you've got. Uh, Lead Belcher from Citadel works absolutely fine for this, no problem uh, at all. So just work your way around. However, I'm going to emphasize this all the way through. Be really, really careful not to get this on the white armor if you do move really quickly to clean it up uh, because that white armor is pretty much finished. Before we shade all of the uh, silver metallics, I want to paint the red uh, loincloth or apron that the apothecary's got, and I'm going to use corn red for this, and that's because we're going to use uh, the same shade for everything again. Be really careful around the white armour. To shade everything, we're going to use some null oil. Uh, this is the new version of null oil, so it's a little bit thinner, flows into those recesses a little bit better. And uh, one really top tip with this, don't slap it on. Make sure you haven't got too much on your brush. And when you're painting the miniature, be very gentle. Don't put too much pressure and don't move your brush too fast, because if you do, it'll splash specks over the white armor, uh, which we don't want, of course. With the null oil dry, and make sure it's very dry before we go on to the next stage, we're going to go and highlight that tabard slash apron. And first off, we're going to take some corn red, and we just want to bring this back up to the colour that it was before. So uh, take your time with this, try making sure to keep it out to those deep, darkest recesses. And this is just to bring the base colour back. We'll do the first highlight with Wazdaka Red. Now, you don't want too much on your brush, so make sure you've got a decent point by twisting the brush as you take it out to the paint. And we're looking to catch those fold folds of the apron. Uh, we're not going to paint this over the entirety. This is just going to be a nice crisp line highlight, because I imagine this isn't fabric so much as it might be uh, some sort of red leather. And then the final highlight that we're going to do on the apron is with Squig Orange. And this is a very small highlight. We're looking for those sharpest edges and where we've already painted Wazdaka Red in the last stage, we want to make sure that we're painting inside that with the squid orange. Highlighting the silver is pretty easy and straightforward. We're going to use Chrome from Vallejo Model Air for this. Now you can use whatever bright silver you've got. If you've got Stormhold Silver from Citadel, that is absolutely fine. So just take your time with this, work your way around the model, catching the sharp edges. And the best way to do this is make sure you haven't got too much on your brush and good tip and pull this along those sharp edges and when you pull it along those sharp edges what you'll do is get a really nice crisp highlight we'll follow this up with the gold and we're going to base all of the gold areas such as the chest eagle using retributor armor so again as with every step make sure that you haven't got too much on your brush and be very careful when you apply it because you don't want to spill it over those white parts because it's going to be really easy to spoil when you're happy with that, take some Reichlin Flesh Shade and wash this into all of the recesses on the gold. Again, taking care not to spill it on the white parts of the armor or covering up some of those uh, 
deep oil washes that you've got on there. To finish the gold, we'll take some Liberator Gold, which is a nice bright gold, and we're going to very carefully add this onto the most raised parts and the parts of the model that are going to catch the most light. So work your way around, and we've got a lot of skulls. We're going to catch the top of the skulls. When it comes to that chest eagle, we're going to catch the protruding parts of the wings and make it look nice and bright. There's lots of ribbed cabling, no jokes please, uh, all over the model and we're going to paint this with black templar contrast paint and the reason I'm using black templar is because it will flow into those recesses and it'll stay away from the top edges and this gives you a really automatic highlight so it's a nice easy straightforward step and you don't have to worry about going back to do more highlights. Next up we'll paint those apothecarian helixes or helix eye I'm not really sure. Uh, but we're going to paint them red and the colour we're going to use is Blood Angels Red Contrast Paint and this is very similar to the Black Templars in the previous stage to make sure that we don't have to do too much to it but we will just give these a little highlight. Uh, one key thing with this is making sure that we leave the white colour in the middle and we're very careful around the edges not to spill it. With that dry we'll paint the harder black surfaces such as the gun casing and the leather on the holster and the belt and the colour we're going to use for this is just a simple black colour. I'm using AK Intense Black because it covers really well. If you've got a bad and black, that's absolutely fine. Or any other black that you like to use, just be careful around bits you've already finished. We'll do a first highlight with German Grey, which is a really dark grey, very similar to Eschen Grey from Citadel. And generally, we want to put a fairly chunky highlight onto some of these areas. Now, where we can, just make sure you've got a fine tip on your brush and you can do some nice area highlighting, which is really easy and straightforward. Just take your time with this, um, because we will add another highlight after, but we don't want to make any mistakes with this stage first. We'll then use a little bit of Mechanica Standard Grey for the second highlight in a very similar manner to how we did the first one, but we want to make sure we keep this inside that German Grey highlight. And we're going to do this by making sure we haven't got too much on our brush. A good tip, we're going to drag it along those edges, nice and simple, and it gives you a really nice crisp highlight. Uh, you can't get simpler than this technique, but it isn't that easy to master so it's easy to do but hard to master so just take your time with it and really make sure you haven't got too much on your brush we'll give those red helixes a little bit of a highlight using wild rider red which is easy for you to say uh, it's a nice bright red and you just want to catch the most raised areas and if you look at the way the helix interlinks is catch the top link that loops over the other one and this will help it stand out while the Blood Angels Red shades the recesses. Next up we'll do all the lenses. Now most of these should still be that white scar but you may have stained them a little so we're just going to go in with some bold titanium white, whatever bright white you've got and we're going to highlight those areas ready for contrast paint. For the big lamp I'm using a Yandan yellow contrast paint which is really nice because it's got that nice deeper colour in the recesses so it really does look like a lamp. And then I'm going to use different colours such as Blood Angels Red, I'm going to use Carandras Green, Frost Hard, just based on the different kinds of lenses and screens we've got across the apothecary. And you can use whatever colours you want. For example, I'm using Lexion Purple for the, uh, the vat that he's carrying next to him. We're pretty close to the end now, so we're going to paint the Purity Seals next. We'll do the wax first and we're going to base it using Screamer Pink, being very careful around the white of the armor and we're then going to take some pink horror to highlight it which is nice and subtle we'll then take some shafty bone to paint the uh, purity seal paper we'll also use this for all the different bits of skull that we've got uh, on the model such as on the shoulder pad and on his resolver bolt pistol resolver absolver bolt pistol we'll then take a little bit of agrax earth shade to shade it all down and we'll make sure that's really dry before we just go in with a little bit of screaming skull and highlight all of the areas. So we're going to highlight that uh, paperwork and we're also going to highlight the skulls. The last thing I'll show you how to do is make that white armor pop a little bit and really this is if you just want to take it to that next level. And we're just going to start line highlighting with a nice bright white. Now I'm using a white from AK for this because the consistency is a little bit better than the Pro Acryl. And also the Pro Acryl seems to be a little bit hydrophobic of the white paint. Uh, so that's why I'm using uh, the AK one. But essentially it's making sure you haven't got too much on your brush. And it's just working it around the model, catching all of those parts that have got those sharp raised edges. So across armor panels, that's nice and easy. But where you haven't got the armor panel to draw the brush, you just want to make sure you've got that nice point and work your way around. 
Uh, and there we have it, really easy and straightforward. Let's have a look at this apothecary all put together. So there we have it, I've showed you the cheat code to get really effective bright white armor really, really, really easily. You cannot get easier than that. I've also showed you some other tips on how to paint the model. I've painted him to look like my uh, Silver Templar's Terminator Captain. You can see how I painted that video by checking out this link here. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.